Okay, everybody, uh, this is uh, Craig Beavers. I'm going to be doing uh, commentary on this game and hopefully the next two. Yeah, this looks like a quite an awkward rack. One of those where you don't really have anything outstanding to play. Outranked, quite cute, but uh, yeah. I think Fouette does all the things you want to, really. Yeah, get rid of most of, most of the vowels and the F, so... And um, Lewis, Lewis's rack's a lot easier. <laughs> yeah, no-brainer for uh, Lewis once you spot the uh, four-timer. This one's a little bit more interesting. Um, obviously, looking to get rid of the W and one of the N's. Yeah, sorry about that uh, noise there. Right, so you well, looking at things like Mew, uh, Mune, possibly, or Marn, rather. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, Mew or Mew, this seems the obvious choices. You've got Mule as well, but, uh, yeah, you really want to get rid of one of the ends there, so. And you've got that nice line along the O to get uh, sevens down and tripled, so, yeah. Good play. Yeah, this is a promising rack. Um, Veronica doesn't quite fit. Mm. I don't choose any. Bonuses, I can see. Uh, again, you're a bit worried after your opponent just played two letters off about uh, the triple line. So uh, I think you just have to. Yeah, I think Venos or something like that. Yeah. L1 is probably something better than that, I guess. Avion, yeah, that's fair enough. I like Enviro, actually. Yeah, Enviro is the sort of thing. I would like playing there. 15 points is a lot to turn down. Yeah, so the van, van man's gone down there pretty quickly, I guess. 
and given an extra five and challenge. Yeah, that's. Uh, I don't understand that. It's a sort of six-letter player. A lot of top players would be uh, dubious about with um, things like con men only just came in. Uh, before then, you, before the last update, you can play con man or con men. So, so when I was uh, good on sixes and things like van men are very plausible, but not always in. So. Okay, so this one looks a bit more straightforward with the Y there and the uh, VM. Uh, the first thing you'd look at really is play off Bay, and that fits in nicely there underneath the Van Men. Uh, I don't think there's any bonuses. Yeah, it was fairly straightforward. So that's the X there. Yeah, nice, nice looking rack, but uh, a lot of potential. We obviously look at trying to get rid of the X here. Try and keep as much of the uh, bonus pro and leave as you can. Yeah, SCT and H goes nicely with that as well. Something similar like simple like lock, so yeah, ticks is the obvious, yeah. So, yeah, that's quite a nice rack. Uh, just what fits now is achiest there. Uh, Probably something through the R as well. But, uh, through the R, the things like uh, theory X. But I don't think anything fits. Oh, H is as well, yeah. <coughs> H is, H is, in there, H is, yeah. Yeah, nothing massive, but uh, you'd probably be looking for a good couple of minutes on this one trying to find a big. 80 or 90 player, but Yeah, I think uh, <coughs> Lewis isn't very really going to find a bonus here, but uh, it's going to put him about 80, 90 ahead.
Yeah, I'm a little bit surprised uh, Toy Seach doesn't do a little bit better on the uh, championship player there, but uh, H is quite open, given uh, some vowel floaters, which might be handy, given uh, just played off TX to... Uh, yeah, that the bottom line, yeah, that's... Yeah, Dave's been a bit unlucky that he's picked out PT. So yeah, the sort of straightforward thing here, try and P play off P PHT. Uh, or PT, something like that. PLT, anything like that. Are you good? Not sure if H has any hooks. Probably shouldn't know, but. Uh, yeah, there's hooks for H's. So yeah, Dave's gone for a more sort of speculative player there. Gone for more points, but a much, uh, much, much more rare. Random leave could end up with seven consonants. I get a bonus. So anything really possible. But, uh, always handy to get another bonus rack after a bonus. Edibles is uh, the player no or no. Guess you'd have a quick look on see if you can get anything underneath het, but uh, I don't think there's anything. You haven't got the you haven't got the A or the H to go under the E T, so it's pretty quick to rule that out, I think. Nedable is gonna score very well, so Edible's the standout player. 99% yeah. win, which is always nice. The only thing you're really worried about is uh, getting hit with a bonus from H15 straight back. But uh, You've got to take the points here. Derbies, which is a bit more defensive, but uh, sacrifices 16 points. You maybe didn't see, I wasn't sure of edibles, I'm not sure. Maybe with that, with the all line still open, there's still plenty of uh, scope to uh, get back in this game. You've got O9 down and A9 across. To get uh, sevens out, you've got the flowing E, you've got the C, and D's okay as well. Mm. So there's quite a few places to get some bonuses down for David here. 
I thought she just really have anything. Yeah, I don't see any major uh, players here that stand out. Um, the uh, J4 cross looks quite promising, but I don't really... With the uh, ABYE, but uh, doesn't really anything that fits there. Got stuff like ploy, which is quite boring. Oh, fatly. Oh, that would have been good. <laughs> yeah, fatly is miles better than everything else. Yeah, ploy and toy and stuff like that. But yeah, fatly is very nice spot if you can see it. that it takes out one of his takes out some of the bonus opportunities really well it's more uh, a bonus after you've already bonused from hopefully all nine but it doesn't really add much to the board platey and you're getting closer to a empty empty bag Yeah, Lewis has got a few opportunities here with a Z. Uh, he's a little, pretty little bit wary of playing off his vowel, but uh, it's quite a lot of vowels left. It's actually vowel-heavy bag, so from his perspective, so. Oh yeah, there's nuts, I suppose, if you want to be blocky or nine. It might be a little bit early to be doing that. Got the uh, things like dazed and lays through E8, through the A and the D, and Z of course, 11, D11 across. Also got Trez, eh, or Trey, whatever you want to call it, yeah, 13k, making it. It hest, which is uh, does a lot of good things as well. So yeah, Lewis has gone for Trez in the rightmost column to take out the big, big scoring bonus line, which is where play it doesn't really help you a great deal. Yeah, ball goes down quickly again. Nothing, nothing too fantastic on that. But ball helps keep the board up.
So yeah, there was no draw then. Pin was overturned in the end by being put back in the bag, which seems uh, reasonable. There's lots of eyes there, and uh, P is not particularly fantastic. So. So Dave's got some scoring opportunities. He's really trying to either get two bonuses or try and claw his way back within the bonus or get one really massive bonus with a Q, I guess. But he's running out of tiles, really. He's eight, 18 tiles in the bag at the moment. So pretty soon, uh, two bonuses is going to be uh, ruled out. see anything massively great with the Q should be the obvious thing to look at yeah equal yeah equals obviously the player uh, eight here yeah that fits in neatly that's a that's by far the best player it gives you an E and the A8 which is brilliant well quite a pretty nice spot as well but uh, equals definitely the player if you see it So yeah, Lewis. Uh, so yeah, oh sorry, Lewis was there. Uh, that was Lewis's move. So so yeah, we're back with David, and uh, yeah, he'd rather have the end back now. I think. Yeah, you don't really get many chances to play a PO PO, but um, yeah, Poi is better, I think. But again, it's still quite a reasonably vowel heavy bag, so you'd rather get rid of more vowels, but it's not really feasible. So yeah, we're at Lewis is 130 ahead now, and there's only 11 in the bag, so he's probably just going to look to uh, look to play off five tiles, ideally four. If, so there's basically, if uh, David does get a bonus, then he can't get another bonus straight after. But yeah, the the bonus uh, playing seven offs is rather nicer than uh, playing five. <laughs> So yeah, there's landmine, obviously. I don't think there's um, anything else to think of. So yeah, land Lewis has spotted it, put it down. Got another five for the challenge, then. So that's going to give him a big win here and a nice bit of spread. So yeah, it's a pretty horrible pickup for David as well, the W, U and D. Hasn't really done much for his S and R. Yeah, Rural, Rural, sorry, Rural Aries uh, got blocked. I think that's uh, good. Yeah. And of course, with a blank on scene, it's uh, you read about the bonus as well from Lewis to make it even a bigger win.
WAI 10B, maybe something like that. And not try for the you're tempting uh, when you're in such a bad situation, frustrated to try and score more. There's also the IWI spot that Landmines created. Um, but yeah, it'd be tempting to try and play for the bonus, but. But uh, yeah, it's not really, possibly not the percentage player to open anything up here. That's a nice pickup from Lewis. And just in case they're trying to find a bonus. He could be pushing 600 here if he can find something they saw next to. I uh, fits in nicely. Uh, Eleven E across. Uh, oh, I know. So, I don't know if there's anything there. So yeah, not particularly nice word, but Fagia would fit in there. Yeah, that's in your bonus, so... Yeah, it looks like a lot of Lewis has spotted it, so... So yeah... Looks like 600 on for Lewis. I guess if you want it to be uh, nice and neat, you could just play a SOG just to keep uh, make a nice round 600, but uh, I think Lewis will play a go. After looking around for the board and wondering where all the bigger scoring spots are for Geo, but uh, that looks the best. So yeah, make that uh, 284 point win for Lewis if he plays Go, which is always uh, nice. So yeah, he's going out with Go. Uh, 274, sorry. Yeah, David just commented that uh, Landmine blocked his Ruhr Alleys, which was pointed out by uh, Jess. So I'll have a look at the uh, letters standings, see how that uh, affects things. 
it's always uh, brutal to get a big game like that, particularly at the end where you're expecting close games and a big blowout like that can make a big difference. Yeah, David's just commenting on whether Lawn Men was good. Yeah. Uh, it's not good, though. So yeah, David was in third place before this round, so that's going to... It's also hurting his spread a great amount as well. So yeah, David was 16 and 6, um, about a win and 400 odd spread off Allen in, in the lead. Uh, Lewis was two games behind David, so Lewis is obviously going to shot up a shot up a bit, a little bit to uh, probably fourth or fifth. Uh, Allen's playing Austin; that'll be a key game. Yeah, so we're waiting for the results for those games to come in. There's uh, two more games after this one. It's actually possible if Rob uh, Robinski's had a big loss that uh, Alan could be more or less guaranteed the uh, title if he won as well. Uh, to see what what the results are. Yeah, 45. Yeah, David is just... Uh, David and Lewis just discussing a game and uh, just was pointing out fatly. Just got 45 points. Okay, I'll just uh, stick these headphones down for a minute. But it's what, 25 minutes, is it? Yeah, about 25 minutes before everyone else finishes. Yeah. Because we need everyone to finish before we can produce the next round pairings. Right, okay. So uh, I'll let you know what the next annotated game is when the pairings okay. are out. Cheers. We'll see, we'll see all the viewers in 25 minutes. No, you're good. What I will probably do since there are 25 minutes left is I will cut the stream in about a couple of minutes 
just so that there isn't 25 minutes of nothing when I upload the video to YouTube later.